friends good afternoon this is titus from salam classes today we are going to look chapter number 2 or the lesson number 2 from the poetry section english core class for 12 as per the board cbse my last video lecture i explain about or i have given a short biography of stephen spender uh, unfortunately i mispronounced there uh, instead of spender i pronounced splendor splendor two time so uh, you don't uh, mind that because due to lack of editing knowledge so i couldn't edit that or i couldn't remove that but the real name of the poet is spender so unfortunately that mispronounced anyway let's come so yesterday oh uh, sorry the my last video lecture we have discussed about the poet very clearly about his birth and about his death about his work okay then we have discussed about a slum area how the slum people are living what is their occupation and how the slum children are studying and uh, uh, what is their livelihood and throughout the day what they do if they are going to school how they are studying if they are not going to school so what is the reason they are not going to school everything we have discussed the surrounding of the slum all things are facility of the slum and also uh, how they are struggling for their uh, food how they are struggling for their livelihood everything we have discussed there then also we have discussed to paragraph sorry stanza number 1 and in that particular stanza the poet here describes the life of the slum children those who are going to to that particular school that is inside of their slum how the children are studying there how the children are sitting there all things he explained very clearly what i explained to you in my last video lecture there were four children one girl and three boy how they are condition and how they uh, were struggling for food and uh, how they were Uh, unwillingly studying or unwillingly uh, uh, sitting in the classroom, everything were described very carefully. If you have seen that, or if you had seen that, and uh, definitely you might have heard or you might have watched that. So today we are going to look about uh, stanza number two, stanza number three, and stanza number four. The main idea. also i gave you my previous video what is there in stanza number 2 what is there in stanza number 3 what is there in stanza number 4 in stanza number 3 mostly describes the poet uh, how the classroom was in an elementary school what kind of color was there what kind uh, of instruments were there Uh, what were the materials were there? Everything that was disca- uh, described in this second stanza. So something I will read for you and something I will explain for you. If you have book, so you take your book, and uh, if you have any notes, you can follow with your notes to me. So if I tell you notes, notes might be various, but book only one. Okay. so book the main script of the book is only one if you have book you can open your book or you have different notes you can open your notes your notes and my notes may be little bit different okay but the meaning will be same so let's start to read and understand the second uh, 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 stanza of this lesson or of this part the wall of the classroom are well and dirty and give a rather unpleasant feeling you know behind of me there is a wall it is painted with a bright color looking like a, you know attraction and uh, 
uh, about the school classroom that is not like this or that is not like your school building or that is not look like any other private school building building color that color is very pale and uh, that is very dirty it give rather a unpleasant feeling when you look a good color we experience a good feelings when we look a bad color we experience bad feeling when we look to a dark color or uh, you know dirty color what second we we don't want to see again that is our feeling and because of that is in the uh, 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 the poet here says when somebody looks the color of the wall getting unpleasant feeling getting unpleasant feeling on this wall many donated items have been put up donated item means in your school or in our school sometime you know reputed person comes suppose politician either government officer of the particular area or any socialist or any ngos whatsoever but they come to school or they give something for a uh, progressing of the school if somebody giving you something for your help and for your benefit that is called donator sometime if we have old clothes so we donate to poor people uh, poor people or to our neighbors that is called donation and donated items were in the classroom what were the items that uh, we will look uh, after so the this represent the world of the rich and uh, prosperous the donated items that represents to the world of the rich and prosperous there is a picture of shakespeare on the wall the picture of towns of big cities represent the quality of life in those cities the early morning sky is shown as cloudless in another picture picture after picture you may see inside of the classroom so i will tell you what other pictures uh, 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 were there there is also a picture of the beautiful tyrolus valley a region in the austrian alpine province covered with flowers the world map which divides the worlds into countries big and small symbolically shows the whole world to the children all the pictures are hanged on the wall number 1 william shakespeare's picture number 2 world map number 3 domes of big cities and number 3 a particular uh, tyrolus valley these are the pictures but what is the meaning hidden inside of that picture here the poet uh, describes i will read for you then we will discuss but all these pictures of no meaning of the improvised children the world depicted on this wall is not the world of the children their wall does not contain huge domes of prosperity of the sanitic present in the picture unfortunately their world is painted with fog the fog of hopelessness and hunger the future is grim and uncertain and sealed with a dark and dull sky the poet again says 
that their world is far away from the actual world of river and caves these things for them are like star in the sky which they cannot touch here the deep meaning as for the pictures it is true there is picture of shakespeare it is true there is map of different countries it is true there is a picture of very good garden it is true there is a picture of big cities and big buildings etc but all are meaningless for them why because they are living in slum and their world is inside of their classroom and uh, they will not able to achieve that particular facilities which are inside of the map so because uh, or inside of the photos and because of that region if i say you tarolus valleys this is uh, like a flower garden everywhere we can experience good fragrance but when we enter to a slum everywhere there is bad smell because of that reason the photo the pictures and the life of the slum that is not matching each other that is not matching each other there is two difference between them so that is why here the poet says the river and caves the natural rivers and caves that is far away from them my previous video i posted one picture a small boy who was swimming in dirty water that is not natural river or that is not a natural pond or that is not natural water a dirty water wa was that and in that dirty water he was swimming and uh, you might have seen some children are there they are playing on the heap of garbage so that is why all are meaningless for them and uh, they cannot that is just like a star that is on the sky as the star is very far from us we cannot reach that the environment of all the photographs are very far away from them they cannot reach they cannot reach there because that is very difficult to them or that is very difficult for them then third stanza he explains how this is bad for them and how this is meaningless for them it is true the poet calls here or the poet says here it is true the uh, 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 portrait of shakespeare is here but that is picked because it is meaningless the children going to the slum school there is no quality education in the school the children here will never learn about shakespeare's work as i told you shakespeare great dramatist great writer and great poet hai na and he wrote many dramas many novels and many poems in india we say kalidas mahakavi and according to worldwide we can say william shakespeare is mahakavi somebody says before several years hundreds ago what he wrote still we are facing that experience you are the far thinker anyway i am not going to tell you about shakespeare i am not going to describe about shakespeare just i want to tell you there is no education of shakespeare the children those who are going they are struggling for hungry they are struggling for food they uh, 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 there is no teaching of 
क्वालिटी एजुकेशन और देर इज नो एजुकेशन ऑफ और दस द एजुकेशन ऑफ शेक्सपियर और शेक्सपियर वर्क द मैप इज ऑल्सो बैड एग्जाम्पल बिकॉज फॉर द चिल्ड्रेन देर क्लास रूम इज द होल वर्ल्ड फॉर देम देर क्लास रूम इज द होल वर्ल्ड फॉर देम If we saw big buildings, tall buildings, beautiful gardens, everything, it is meaningless for them because they are, you know, in Hindi, unka sansar wahi classroom hai. Means their world is inside of their classroom. There is no world beyond their poverty, hunger. and uh, hopelessness so these maps only tempt them to steal because they cannot have all these worldly things and they live in cramped hall like uh, huntments and uh, there is no end of their misery there is an unending state of gloom hunger and uh, despair when they looked the prosperity building automatically temptation will grow inside of their heart when they look you know attractive picture automatically something will you know work in their heart so that they uh they will you know uh oblique to still something else so that is why according my thinking if we teach in slum we need to study them according to their needs we should teach them we should teach them okay now the poet what is he says here and uh, he uh, 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 said here the map or uh, that is also something uh, bad for them the bodies look like garbage heap the children those who are staying there okay their body is heap of garbage they are very skinny and their bones are peeping out of their skin their bones are peeping out of their skin you know my i told you i think my previous video so if you look the this person so you can count the ribs very good why already previous lecture i told you because of malnutrition or having no food or once a day only they are having food the state of poverty is intensified by the fact that the glasses which the children wear are cracked and look like the broken piece of bottle all their life is being destroyed here in the slum the slum is like a broad as big as tomb as the map of these children the lives of these children only the world is their slum the world is their slum now we have to come uh, fourth stanza in the fourth stanza he appeals to some ngos he appeals uh, to uh, you know education uh, department officers and he appeals to uh ministers governors all are they should come and help the poor children they should come and remove the gap between us and them and uh, here the poet mentioned uh, there is a big gap between them and us we need to put a bridge over there that they and we may be equal together 
वाट द फैसिलिटी वी आर गेटिंग है ना हाउ वी आर लिविंग एट द सेम वे दे शुड ऑल्सो लिव एट द सेम वे दे शुड ऑल्सो लिव द चिल्ड्रेन विल कंटिन्यू टू सफर दिस हेल्प ऑनलेस गवर्नमेंट ऑफिशियल्स लाइक गवर्नमेंट इंस्पेक्टर ऑफ एजुकेशनिस्ट हु विजिट सच स्कूल कम फॉर वर्ल्ड टू हेल्प दैम द पॉइंट वॉन्ट्स द सिविलाइज वर्ल्ड टू ब्रिज द गैप बिटवीन दैम एंड द वर्ल्ड ऑफ द चिल्ड्रेन दे शुड ऑफर दिस चिल्ड्रेन ए ड्रीम्स ऑफ बेटर वर्ल्ड सो दैट द मै बिकम देर विंडो टू द ब्यूटिफुल एंड चार्मिंग वर्ल्ड आउटसाइड then these windows of the elementary school classroom which confined all their hopes and uh, dreams must be broken to uh, sorry so that uh, the children can be brought out in the green field away from the filthy surroundings the boy desires that the children should be allowed to run freely on the golden sun under a clear sky make for example make progress they should be allowed to have quality education the poet will start education can help them immensely because according to him history is written by those whose language has the Uh, warmth and the energy of the sun so friends in this last stanza he want to convey us we should remove the gaps we should make a bridge on that particular gap and uh, how we are treating our children or how our children are being treated by us with love love and care like the same way we should love and care to them we should not think unwanted weed like inside of the garden we should not uh, think uh, like them until unless their dream will not fill if uh, no one will go and help them that is why the poet here says government officers and uh, ministers and educationist all of them must be go and help them then only their life can be survive and then only their miserable condition will be wiped out from their life this is the explanation of the uh, of a uh, whole chapter so i request you please subscribe my channel and uh, comment also if it is possible you can comment or it is free of cost you can subscribe and make a like button that i can understand how you are like me i am not that much liked person something i have and i am sharing with you and in my next class we will meet with hard words difficult words or new words and also some important question answer okay good day have a good day may god bless you thank you for watching my video